Okay, so we're going to check if this is true. I mean, false. So if it's emit is set to false, we want to enable it. So we're going to say hit the uh, blood effect dot transform dot position position is equals to hit point. So we're basically saying it's going to pop out from the end of our Raycast hit point. Okay. And then we want to say blood effect dot transform dot local rotation. If I can find it, there we go. Equals a quaternion dot from to rotation open bracket vector free dot forward comma hit dot normal okay and the last one we're just gonna omit it this time so blood effect dot emit now you want to select the emit with the purple cube next to it and it starts with a capital E and then open bracket and close bracket so we basically said if our raycasts hit point hits a collider and the game object tag is enemy um, we want to enable the blood effect particle let's go back into unity now what you want to do is just get a blood effect particle if you haven't I will upload it to the website so you can download it and you want to attach that to your player's muzzle flash just drag it into there so I'm going to quickly drag it onto that blood effect or should blood splat, splat if I named it correctly yes I think so Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. I think that's the wrong one actually. Um, let me delete this one. What did I name it? Blood what? It was blood effect, sorry. Uh, blood splat. Blood splat. There it is. I'm going to drag this into my muzzle flash holder. And there it is. Then click on the player's ratio script. And there should be an open variable called blood effect. Now, in there, you want to drag the drops and also the main so let's go back into a model develop again let's add one more variable and let's just call this one public var blood effect main and this can be a particle emitter as well that I'm just gonna copy this name quickly blood effect main and I'm gonna go to the main function the start one and I'm gonna put emit to false as well okay then we can go back down to our array shoot function and we're gonna say if open bracket blood effect main close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace 
Now what's the facing of the blood effect main? It's going to be the end of the ray, po uh, ray cast hit point. So blood effect main dot transform dot position is equal to hit. Let me just copy that. Paste it there. Close that. Okay. Now copy this line. Paste it directly underneath this one and just call this one blood effect main and underneath blood effect dot emit we want to put blood effect dot emit so blood effect main save that let's go back into unity and it should uh, display those particles when I hit the glider named enemy oops I put a capital either sorry there we go no errors let's run this and give it a shot oh before we do make sure you attach the main blood particle to the blood effect main as well. Save that. That's the main particle. And I'm just going to scale it up a bit. It's a bit too small. Uh, for now, that'll be okay. It's just a test, anyways. I'm going to switch that back off. I'm going to run the game again. Gonna go to this guy, and hopefully, when I shoot him, you should be able to see the blood. There you go. <laughs> the blood looks quite strange yet, but later on, we'll fix that. But for now, that's how you emit different particles when hitting different colliders. Okay. As always, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you soon.